Hi guys, Adam here, and welcome back to the Reveo and M's Toyland. Today, I'm going to be showing you these Wild Kratts, Martin and Chris Kratt plushies. Well, obviously, these aren't the <laughs> live-action versions of Chris and Martin, but <laughs> they're the animated Chris and Martin in plush form from Wild Kratts. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm actually going to be showcasing these guys individually. Okay, so here is Chris Kratt. Alright, so <laughs> his main color scheme is mainly, well, brown. <laughs> uh, his skin color. I don't really know what color that is, though. <laughs> White brown, I think. <laughs> White and green. Alright, so <laughs> here's some things about Chris. <laughs> Alright, Chris is actually the more organized... <laughs> Crap brother, and <laughs> yeah, he sometimes activates creature power suits and like <laughs> prey animals, like prey animal creature power suits, and he normally gets pummeled by the respective predator. When he was in his gazelle power suit, he was tackled, chased and tackled by Blur the cheetah, and when he was in his moose suit. <laughs> Yep, he was surrounded by a pack of wolves, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> yep, I don't know when this <laughs> artifact of Chris, uh, that belongs to Chris first appeared in the show, but <laughs> Chris actually has a creature souvenir collection, and the <laughs> stuff in that collection were were collected by no harming animals in the process. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> Chris's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Due to Chris's organization system, <laughs> he nicknamed himself the Organization King. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> ha. <laughs> yep. And I think that Chris, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh boy, I don't know if he's like more smarter than Martin, but <laughs> I don't know, yeah, ha, <sighs> and his main color is green, which happens to be my second favorite color, all right, I can talk about Chris Pratt all day, but that could take a while, now we move on to Martin, all right, so, <laughs> Martin is actually the more goofy of the Crap Brothers. <laughs> he has a tendency to name animals, mainly baby animals. <laughs> he is he is not organized whatsoever, and <laughs> his stuff, yeah, he mainly, like, he somewhat often <laughs> loses his stuff. Yeah, and <laughs> when he tries to <laughs> put his put one of his things in Chris's organization system, he forgets where he puts it. <laughs> oh, Martin. <laughs> yep, so Martin's color scheme is, well, <laughs> light brown, <laughs> white, and blue. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, he had, both Crap Brothers have brown boots, brown and black boots, and khaki shorts. <laughs> yep. And Martin's signature color is blue, which happens to be my <laughs> third favorite color. So my favorite colors are red, green, and blue. <laughs> Those are coincidentally... Okay, this is not related to Wild Kratts, but... <laughs> Those happen to be the colors of a lot of cartoon characters. Like Catboy, Owlette, and Gecko from PJ Masks. And Sasha and Marcy from Amphibia. Or maybe, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and other trios of characters <laughs> in other shows, too. <laughs> Anyways. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> Martin, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So, Martin, like, <laughs> puts something down, and then he does something else, and... Boom! It's gone! 
And then he usually finds it again in his backpack or his sock or your or his boot or his flipper or whatever. <laughs> so basically, yeah. <laughs> despite his yeah, despite his like unorgan unorganized habits, both Chris and Martin work really well together and they w rescue creatures <laughs> as a team. And yeah. <laughs> Martin and Chris's favorite Arctic animals are muskox and Arctic wolf, respectively. And that is an overview on Martin. All right, one of the most, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of the most, like, easy to tell, <laughs> like, <laughs> things about the Crab Brothers or Chris and Martin <laughs> is that Chris is the climbing brother and Martin is the swimming brother. And those are their actual favorite things in the show. <laughs> yep. And... Ha! <laughs> Martin and Chris normally save creatures, like, on their own. But sometimes they get <laughs> assistance from the Wildcrats kids or the other members of the Wildcrats crew. Aviva, Koki, or and Jimmy. <laughs> Yep, and, yeah, <laughs> ha, <laughs> yep, and, according to <laughs> the Wild Kratz episode titled, Linergusa Kratorum, <laughs> yeah, a praying mantis species from South America was actually named after them, actually, that was not made for the show, that actually happened to the real life versions of Chris and Martin. Yeah, <laughs> and the, like, explanation for the praying mantis getting named after them <laughs> is that, according to Koki, and I quote, a scientist has named a species of praying mantis after the Crap Brothers for, re <laughs> I don't know what reason the show, like, <laughs> said that, <laughs> Why a scientist, hmm. yeah, hmm. named the Mantis after the Crap Brothers, but I think after, like, them rescuing creatures. <laughs> and I th I'm i pretty sure the Crap Brothers are proud, <laughs> and they should be. <laughs> Actually, the reason I bought these... <laughs> Wild Kratz, Chris and Martin plushies from Amazon is because I'm actually going to Wild Kratz Live in November. <laughs> so, expect, so expect a hmm, picture video to be on the channel sometime in, the, in November. <laughs> About on the photos I eventually take on when I'm at Wild Kratz Live. <laughs> the three main villains of Wild Kratz, Zack Marmatek, Denis Danan, and Gaston Gourmand, <laughs> nickname, yeah, nickname the Crap Brothers, and they give them very silly nicknames. Zack calls them Blue Boy and Green Guy. <laughs> Danita calls them Cristo and Martino. And the most silliest of the three, <laughs> yeah. Gourmand calls them green grape and blueberry. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that Gourmand actually called Chris green pea, like, <laughs> at one point. But he mainly calls Chris green grape. <laughs> green grape and blueberry. <laughs> yeah, the tone of Gourmand's voice when he says that is very funny. <laughs> and when... Zack calls the calls the wild crats wild rats. <laughs> Chris and Martin and sometimes the wild crats crew and the wild crats kids <laughs> say that's wild crats in response. <laughs> and some fans of the show think that <laughs> Chris and Aviva <laughs> have feelings for each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Wild Kratz is a show that really needs shipping, but whatever. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so, <laughs> yeah, Wild Kratts is one of my favorite shows of all time. Okay, I could talk about Wild Kratts all day long, but <laughs> if I did that on this YouTube video, it would go on for a long, long time. So I'm just going to stop the video here. Okay, time for the rating. I rate these <laughs> Wild Kratts, Martin and Chris Kratt plushies a 10 out of 10. I recommend anybody getting, this, anybody getting these plushies if they like Wild Kratts, Chris and Martin Kratt, and <laughs> animals in general. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe. Click on the picture of Tricks to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving Wild Kratts and <laughs> Chris and Martin Kratts. See you later. Bye. Keep on creature adventuring. We'll see you on the creature trail. <laughs>